Hello everybody, it is time, time now for college football picks for Halloween week. And before we start picking me and this guy right here, the almighty nickel, let's take a look at last week's results. Yes, sir, or yes, ma'am, 7-3 and three against the spread. I'll take that second week in a row where I've come out on the winning end. That's right, 7-3 and three against the spread. The nickel, not as fortunate. It goes the opposite, 3 and 7. So you can take a look at the overall results right now. I am well above 500, but of course we're about to enter Halloween and what should be a fun November. Now, on to the picks. Okay, we got a couple of Thursday night games for October 29th before we dig into October 31st. One of them pertains to the Big 12. TCU and West Virginia, after a bye week, will go head-to-head -head at Fort Worth. TCU still undefeated, offensively still looking good. Of course, defense has been um, questionable, but I think TCU gets things worked out, and I do think the Horned Frogs will cover that 14 points. West Virginia, after a 3-0 start, has not looked the same since the start of Big 12 play. Look for TCU to win and cover. I like the Horned Frogs minus 14. If this guy right here lands on heads, it likes the favorite. Tails it goes with the underdog, as you might know. And the coin is going to go with TCU. Now let's go to Oregon at Arizona State, or as I like to call it, the Disappointment Bowl. It's a late Thursday night game. Two teams are 4-3 and three on the season. We thought both would be much better entering this matchup. Somebody's got to win. When in doubt, take the home team, so that's what I'm going to do. Give me Arizona State with that slim point spread minus the 2.5, and, and the coin is going to go with Oregon. Let's move on to Halloween, October 31st, Saturday. Big 12, Oklahoma State at Texas Tech. And can the Cowboys keep it going? A slight favorite in this one, minus three. Biggest thing for Oklahoma State, can they establish a run game? My answer in this game is yes, because everybody, when they play Texas Tech, establishes a run. Give me the Cowboys, minus three. Remember, recently Oklahoma State, whether it's in Lubbock or Stillwater, plays very, very good against Texas Tech. So give me the Cowboys, minus the three, and the coin is going to go with Oklahoma State as well. Texas at Iowa State. Charlie Strong and his guys have looked uh, pretty good lately. Of course, the win over Oklahoma and last week defensively playing sharp against Kansas State and another Texas win. I think they keep the momentum going against the Iowa State team, trying to find an identity, and we'll see how they do in the post-Mark Mangino era as Paul Rhodes fired Mangino, the offensive coordinator. So Iowa State is still thinks trying to figure things out. Look for Texas to win on the road. Give me the Longhorns minus six and a half, and the nickel is going to take Iowa State. National games, and I'm going to be honest with you, there are not very many this week that I really was excited to pick. I mean, as far as the national appeal, uh, this week it's not one of the best weeks. But still some important games, just not as many as what we'll see in future weeks. Clemson at North Carolina State. The Tigers still undefeated and now in the top five. But you got to watch out for North Carolina State, one of those tricky teams to face. But Clemson, to me, is playing on a level that's pretty high. Look for the Tigers to keep it going. Give me Clemson minus 10.5 on the road in rally, and the coin is going to take North Carolina State. The world's largest outdoor cocktail party. It's Jacksonville, and that can only be one thing. A great party. <laughs> okay, all right, two things, all right? Great party, but also Georgia playing Florida. And uh, the Bulldogs still trying to remain viable uh, when it comes to having uh, an elite season. Florida lost once, but they've been one of the uh, big surprises this year in college football, doing better than expected, and they are a slight favorite in this game. It's one of those matchups where you have to think, okay, if it's that slim of a point spread, who do you like? In this case, I'm going to go with the better defense. Florida has the better defense, and they're not as banged up as Georgia. So give me uh, the Gators. Minus the two and a half, and the coin is going to go with Georgia. And you have a, another surprise, Iowa. You realize the Iowa Hawkeyes are not only undefeated and in the top ten, but they have a schedule that's very favorable to being 12 and, oh, I think their toughest game in November is going to be against Nebraska, who's already lost five games. So Iowa could very well into that Big Ten championship game 12 and, oh, um, 
that that's very, very likely for Kirk Ferentz's squad. And I've been hard on Iowa in recent years while I thought they underachieved, but this year they've overachieved. It's not been the toughest schedule, but still they've beaten everybody on it. And I think that they'll beat Maryland, and I think they'll beat them comfortably. Maryland is not a very good team at all. Iowa minus the 17, and the coin is going to go with Maryland. And in prime time, that's right, college game day. If you watch College Game Day on ESPN Saturday, I know a lot of you do, including yours truly, um, you'll see Temple. That's right. Temple is going to be the host team for College Game Day. That's right. The nation's eyes will be on Temple. Who would have thought that at the beginning of the season? But the Owls are 21st in the country. They're undefeated. But they got to play Notre Dame, and I think – uh, I, I think Temple will taste defeat for the first time. Notre Dame has been tested this season. They play a very tough schedule, and they've lost just once. Look for Notre Dame to uh, hand Temple their first loss of the season. Give me the Irish minus the 10.5, and, and the coin is going to go with Temple. And a couple of uh, games to talk about from the Pac-12. Stanford at Washington State. Do you realize that the winner of this game could very well control their destiny to get into the Pac-12 championship game. Who would have thought that about Washington State, but the um, but the Washington State Cougars, after losing that game to, I think, Portland State, an FCS squad at the beginning of the season, has turned things around. They're at home, and they'll take on Stanford, whom, after that opening loss to Northwestern, has looked like one of the best teams in college football. The Cardinal are favored in this game. I think Stanford wins, but getting too many points on the road, uh, or giving too many points on the road, 12 I think Washington State keeps it within that decent distance. So give me Stanford to win, but uh, Washington State to, to cover in this particular situation. So give me Washington State, um, you know, taking the points. And the coin, by the way, is going to also agree with me and take the Cougars as well. And you have USC at Cal and the Trojans showing a lot of pride. Uh, remember uh, firing uh, head coach Steve Sarkeesian just a couple of weeks ago, and boy, did USC make a statement with a huge win at home against previously unbeaten Utah. Now USC will try to keep the show going at Cal, who was once ranked. I think USC playing a little bit better football right now. Give me the Trojans, minus the six, and the coin is going to give it one terrific flip here. There we are. It's going to go with USC. And we're going to start something new, okay? We're going to start something new from this point on. I think this will be kind of fun. This is called my Unknown Game of the Week. A college football game that in terms of the nationwide scope is obscure. It's a game you're, you're not ever going to pick and a game you probably don't even know about. But for fun, we're going to pick it anyway, okay? This week's Unknown Game of the Week is Idaho at New Mexico State, okay? And no, I did not call a handicapper. I did not call one of those services to get this selection, okay? This is just me picking an unknown game. So we'll take Idaho at New Mexico State. We'll see what holds in store in Las Cruces, New Mexico. I like Idaho. I love potatoes. And New Mexico State traditionally is one of the worst teams in college football. So give me Idaho minus five and a half. And the nickel here is going to take Idaho too. So, those are my picks for the week. What were yours? Don't forget, uh, sometime Saturday evening, my post game of Oklahoma and Kansas. The game will be Halloween, early Halloween evening. Hey, have, have a happy Halloween out there. And, of course, we'll be back next week at this time for more college football picks. Bye for now. On behalf of myself and the five-cent piece. Good shot. So long, everybody.